welcome to Jova Today. I'm Zizi Pawandevu. You can always reinvent yourself through fashion. We visited the Fabiani store to see what's trending. Fabiani is a men's brand um, inspired by Italian, South African brand, which was established in 1978. Our co-founder was Jeff Fabian, and his son later joined him into the business, Ari Fabian. Our target market is actually everyone that's stylish. You know, because we've looked at it and every, there's a bit of everything for everyone in our store. So if you want to be a man in suiting, if you want to be a guy in um, joggers, we've got all that. So you just need to know how to mix it up. I'll tell you one thing with Fabiani. Uh, what makes Fabiani unique from other brands is that we are very formal, but we also playful. So it's, like people are not, like men are not scared to actually walk into our store because there's that playful vibe and everybody feels welcomed and not intimidated. So you've just taken me through the store. It's absolutely cool. And you got me my new threads. We like it. But um, just tell us, like, why exactly did you choose particularly these items for me? Okay, so how I usually go through my thought process when styling someone uh, is I listen to what you have to say, right? And if you, I don't know if you've noticed lately, like for guys, um, it's it's just now that we've discovered accessories, you know. So hence why I went for the velvet um, royal blue bow tie, the royal blue um, electric um, bomber. Uh, just to you know, accentuate that adventurous spirit that you spoke about. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the happy socks also bring it out quite nicely. Fabiani's heritage is form away. So with our new autumn winter campaign, A Return to Form, we're bringing the focus back into our suiting, which is our heritage. Uh, but now with that, we've also inherited a bit of uh, a new streetwear, which is sort of like what the trend is moving towards. I mean, you, in order for us to stay relevant, we need to stay with, with the trends and be sort of like ahead of the curve a little uh, as a fashion brand. So there's a, a lot of that. Uh, you'll see a lot of blues coming through, a lot of uh, sport luxury, uh, sweats and, and that. Um, so yeah, All right. looking forward to it. Uh, you, you'll be very pleasantly surprised. I bet I will. And you guys better keep it locked and loaded right here on Joburg today to find out what actually went down for the Fabiani pre-launch at the Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Johannesburg. What's up everyone, it's your boy DJ Sabi, the best thing ever from YFM 99.2 and you are watching Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter, at Joburg Today. And if you're one of those people on the move, then pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. If you love fast cars and staying green, then the BMW i3 and i8 could be for you. Last week I caught up with Dina from BMW to find out more. So BMW is one of my favorite cars because mm. it's just glamorous and Glad speed and all these things. Yeah. But now there's the, the actual electronic version of, of cars that are coming out with Ele the i3. Electric. Electric. electric mm -hmm. With the i3 and, and the i8. And anybody who loves cars wants to know about the actual mm. cars. So tell us a bit about them. Well, there's a long uh, strategy behind the cars. I think uh, driven partly by uh, legislation that's happening around the world. And this legislation has been motivated by a lot of key drivers. Uh, global warming, environmental change, but also we're heading into an increasingly carbon-constrained future. And our two highlight products uh, that we have are the BMW i8, which is our version of the sports car of the future, and the BMW i3, which is our megacity vehicle, a vehicle built from the ground up to exist in big cities like Johannesburg, Cape Town, and Durban. So you mentioned how it's, it's customized for a city like ours, mm -hmm. a busy city like Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about the African market. Do you think that there is a market for this kind of car within Joburg and within Africa as a whole? I think we mustn't under underestimate the African market. And South Africa as the gateway into Africa is quite representative of that. And we shouldn't underestimate the power of that middle class to drive society along uh, in a technological uh, way. Uh, and we have a customer segment, we believe definitely in South Africa, that's going to take to these cars. And just for more information, for somebody who's watching this interview and mm. they want to get in, mm. how can they keep you know, in touch and tabs on this initiative? Well, we have selected four dealerships amongst our 60 dealerships uh, in the Southern African region, which is uh, managed by BMW South Africa. Uh, we encourage people to go to our dealerships. They are Santon Auto in Johannesburg, Club Motors Fountains in Pretoria, 
Supertech in Durban, uh, and SMG Cape Town at Century City. And these are our absolute brand stores. So we have um, really key dedicated dealerships who have invested a lot in the product, in their staff, in their training, uh, and the entire brand experience is to be had there. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Gigi. How's it? This is Dominic Oliver, and you're watching Joburg Today. Aren't you sick of the traffic? Psychology might have a solution. Psychology is a green mobility company, and we specialize in electric bicycles. We import them, and then we create the experiences around these new green technologies that inspire people to try and live a life on two wheels. We've got a tour operation, which uh, gives uh, tourists the opportunity to see our cities in really unusual and new ways. And then um, we're really focusing on the advocacy side and awareness raising side of the potential of uh, uh, green mobility and light electric vehicles like the electric bicycle. And we started a campaign called Hashtag Decongest Santon. Santon's got such a specific problem and it's congestion. So we've started saying, um, you're not in traffic, you are traffic. Let's get out of it. Johannesburg is becoming a progressive cycling city. And we're seeing this phenomenon mushroom. We believe that hashtag decongestantin is just one piece of the bigger puzzle that's gonna put us in a position where we use these bicycles as tools to open up the city to create access for people to freer forms of mobility so that we don't have to be trapped by the choices we made with cars and other modes of transport. People who could really benefit from these electric bicycles or bicycle commute, they perceive it to be a poor person's mode of transport. Hell no, I want a car, right? We have these ideas. So we thought if we put your boss on the bicycle in Santon, aren't we going to shift your perception? I actually enjoyed it quite a bit, um, being a cyclist, cyclist myself. Um, just the combination of being able to uh, cycle a little bit and then obviously the uphills, the electric motor kicks in, so it's not that hard work. The sort of speed that you can pick up on the bicycles as well um, is quite, it's, it's very different. You just get a bit uh, scary when you go to the traffic, if you have never been riding in the traffic before, so it gets a bit scary. but. You have to relax and be in control of the ride. I think it's great for, for me, especially I travel to Santon quite often on the car train and then I usually take the walking option, but I mean that would be great for me to have them possibly at the station and take the bike to our sites or wherever we go. They're about the slow ride, the unexpected journey and the freedom to exhale. With their electric bicycles, psychology intends to take Johannesburg to greater heights, curbing the idea of being stuck in traffic. I am Buitumalo Larato Kwena for Joburg Today. Hi, I'm Roxanne Rodemeyer and you're watching Joburg Today. For more on the city, check out our playlist as well as business destination Joburg. That's it from me, Zizi Paul. I leave you with Down South by Jeremy Lewis. Back in ETV.
really want you to put me down south I'm missing and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want you It's good to see you Josie, how you doing? I didn't want you to put me down south I'm missing and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want you I didn't want you to be the down south of the city and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love, I didn't want you It's good to see you, Josie, how you doing? Sigh, I didn't want you to be down south of the city and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love, I didn't want you I didn't want you to be down south of my city and I will call you Squeeze you a 